What if you had the power to create life from death? This was the chilling experiment undertaken by the young scientist Victor Frankenstein, a character penned by the imaginative mind of Mary Shelley in her 1818 novel Frankenstein, or The Modern Prometheus. A scientist driven by ambition and curiosity, Victor took on the daring task of reanimating life from the lifeless. His tools, not magic, but the advancing science of his age. In his secluded laboratory, amidst the stench of decay, Victor assembled his creation, a creature woven together from the remnants of the deceased, standing at a towering eight feet tall, but this was no mindless beast. This creation, this monster, was capable of emotion, of thought. It yearned for acceptance, for a place amongst its creator's kind. But alas, acceptance is a luxury seldom offered to those who are different, who are monstrous. And so, this creature, this creation of Frankenstein found itself shunned from the society it so desperately wanted to be a part of. But as we soon discover, the birth of this creation was only the beginning of a terrifying saga. Imagine being brought into the world only to be met with fear and loathing. This was the cruel reality for Frankenstein's monster. Thrown into existence, this eight-foot-tall creature, a scientific marvel, yearned for nothing more than to fit into human society. Yet his grotesque appearance stirred fear and disgust in the hearts of those he encountered. Despite his emotional capacity, he was relentlessly met with rejection. Each attempt at connection, each plea for understanding, was met with horrified screams and violent attacks. The creature's isolation grew, his loneliness deepened, and his hope for acceptance dwindled. In an ironic twist, the very society that shunned him misnamed him. He was often referred to as Frankenstein, a name belonging to his creator, Victor Frankenstein, not to the creature himself. This misnomer, born out of fear and ignorance, has persisted in popular culture, further blurring the lines between monster and maker. Shunned by his creator and society, the monster's longing for acceptance turned into a burning desire for revenge. In the face of rejection and humiliation, Frankenstein's monster embarked on a vengeful rampage. Spurned by society and his creator, the creature retaliated against Victor Frankenstein, the man who dared to play God. In a chilling sequence of events, the monster committed the unspeakable. He murdered Frankenstein's loved ones, each death a cruel reflection of the life he was denied. But the monster's revenge wasn't confined to his creator. He led Frankenstein on a relentless pursuit through the icy expanses of Scandinavia and the vast wilderness of Russia. It was a chase filled with despair and dread, a testament to the monster's wrath. Yet, this vengeful creature wasn't limited to the pages of Mary Shelley's novel. He emerged in various forms of media, haunting our screens in films and television series. He even found a place among the pantheon of Marvel Comics, where he continued his quest for revenge, battling against characters such as Dracula, Spider-Man and the Man-Wolf. As we delve deeper into the tale of Frankenstein's monster, we uncover a story not just of horror, but of profound tragedy. Frankenstein's monster, a symbol of scientific hubris and unrequited longing, continues to haunt our collective imagination. From its birth in the mind of Mary Shelley in the early 19th century, the monster has been a potent emblem of our deepest fears and desires. It has been reincarnated time and again across different media, each iteration exploring a new facet of its complex nature. In the realm of film and television, the monster has been portrayed in countless ways, from the tragic figure in Thomas Edison's 1910 production to the comedic character in Young Frankenstein. Each adaptation has sought to capture the essence of the original while adding its unique touch. In the world of comic books, Marvel Comics brought the monster to life, battling against the likes of Dracula and Spider-Man. Throughout these adaptations, the monster has been given various names, such as Deucalion, Adam and Proteus, each name adding a new layer to its rich mythology. As we bid adieu, remember that every Halloween when the wind howls and the shadows grow long, the story of Frankenstein's monster serves as a chilling reminder of the dangers of playing God.